how do you make chocolate pudding that is rich and creamy and it has that wonderful mouthfeel texture that we all know and love without using dairy? That's the challenge. So many of you might want to use milk alternatives. Well, I'm going to show you the best one to use to get the best result. Nice and creamy. Oh, it's so delicious. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, we're going to start off here with chef joke number one. How can you tell if someone spiked your chocolate pie with alcohol? The proof's in the pudding. <laughs> so the best milk alternative that you can use to make this pudding is coconut milk, full fat. This will make your pudding creamy and rich, just like dairy, and the ingredients are really great. Make sure you give the coconut milk a little shake, and then we're going to pour it into our saucepan. And to that, we're going to add some unsweetened cocoa powder. Uh, the brand I'm using here is Guitard. I'm going to use a little wax paper here just to help make clean up a little easier when I'm measuring this out. So I'll just level that off for a one quarter cup. And don't forget you can get the written recipe down below the video in the description area. Here's how that wax paper comes in handy. To sweeten up the pudding, I'm using coconut sugar. We'll place that in the pan as well. Next is a half a teaspoon here of vanilla extract. And last is a pinch of salt. And I'm just gonna give that a little whisk. But before we start cooking our pudding, we need to make our thickener. So in this bowl, I have a couple of tablespoons of water, just cold water. And to that, we're gonna add some cornstarch. I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch, and you can get the written recipe below in the description of this video. So I'm gonna put in three of these. and then take your whisk and blend that up. It's gonna be a little bit stiff right in the beginning, but once it gets worked in, it's, it smooths out. All right, we're ready to start cooking our pudding. So I have my temperature here on medium low, and I'm gonna stir it a bit, whisk it, until it starts to warm up just a little bit. And now I'm gonna add the cornstarch to the mixture. So you want to pour it in nice and slow and whisk continuously. That way we won't have any lumps. All right, so I've got my temperature on medium heat now and we're going to continue to whisk uh, constantly and don't stop until the pudding thickens up. This will only take a couple of minutes, so just keep on whisking. Now soon you're going to notice the pudding starts to thicken up and you can see it simmering here. See the little bubbles? That's when you know it's almost done. And you just let it go another 30 seconds at this point and then you turn off the heat and then you can enjoy it. Now I'm going to pour the pudding into some individual ramekins here and that way you can see it. And I'll have enough pudding here to fill four of these ramekins. I'm going to let these cool a little bit because who doesn't love some warm pudding? Now the good thing about being the cook is you get to lick the pot. Mmm. Mighty fine. Okay, it must be time for chef joke number two. What is the most desirable kitchen appliance? A hot plate. <laughs> and now it's time to take my official taste so just so you can see how wonderful this is. Notice the little skin that's formed on top. Now this is chocolatey, this is creamy, silky, it's got a great mouth feel. You can see how creamy it looks. It's really delicious and you won't even notice that it's not dairy. And the coconut, you can't even taste it. And I also like that you can control the amount of sugar in it. If you'd like to try chocolate pudding made with dairy, I've got the recipe for you, homemade, great ingredients, Give it a try, it is silky, creamy, delicious, and has that wonderful texture. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the video. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button. And if you know somebody who might enjoy a non-dairy pudding, share it with them for me, and I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much. We'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe. Cheers. Mm -hmm.